Okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you some procedures for creating a paperless classroom. There is a script that you can use for Excel called G Class. It'll create your folders for you. But I think if you do it manually, you'll even understand Google uh, Apps for Education and, and how uh, Google Docs can really help you facilitate and make your classroom more efficient. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our Google Drive here. And we want to um, open a Word document and just name it important links so I'm just going to create this document going to name it important links and there it is right there important link I called it um, next in your Google Drive I'm going to create a folder called handout folder so I'm going to create a folder called handout and there it is right there and um, what I have here is you might want to name it because over the years you might have different folders so if you want to you can actually name that or we could call it probably a good thing would be this spring would be 2000 14, 2015, uh, I'll just use my last name here, McGacky handout folder. And there it is. Now, um, what I want to do is set the sharing so all the kids can view any document I put under there. Uh, they're going to be able to view it. So I'm just going to right click, share it, share, going to change it here, anyone with a link. Now if all the kids have GAF accounts, you just might want to click anyone within Frederick County. But for right now, the example I'm showing you, the person that I'm going to do this with doesn't have it. So we do want to make sure they can view only because this is just handouts. I don't want them to write in that. So... Once I have that, I can say done. And you can see there's going to be a little person beside that. And now, um, a, a thing that you could do is if you had now different classes, let's say you could create a folder under there called LA period one. And then you could create another folder if you taught let's say another subject like lab 21 and you taught that second block okay so um, you know you could put documents in individuals or maybe just under this you just had an LA and a lab 21 if you taught those two classes if you just taught one class you would probably just have one folder but the key is whatever sharing can uh, and and uh, rights that we put on that folder, anything we put under this folder, those folders are going to have the same rights. Okay? So, and I actually changed it so the naming is the same as my folder above that 2014 2015, like LA01 Smith handout. So that would tell the students that even if I just gave them this folder, that if they were able to open it, they could go in here and for block one, if I was putting something different or if block two, I was putting something different in that folder, they could. So it depends how you want to set these up. That's why I like setting these up myself. So you can really custom to what you, you wanted. Now, while I have this folder open, what I'm going to do is come here to my Google shortener and I'm actually going to get, I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to go back to my Word document that I opened up, Important Links. And all I'm going to do is type in uh, Handout Folder. And you can make this nicer looking or whatever if you want. And uh, we can just increase that a little bit. Make it bold. And so... As soon as I share this link with any students, they're going to have access to that handout folder. 
and that's what I want to do. Now then I want to go back to my top of my drive here and I want to create another folder called 2014-2015 and I want to call it turn in folder. So here I have my hand out folder and now I have my turn in folder. Now what I want to do is I want to provide um, I want to create have my students create folders that I'm going to be able to go in and look at their work here. So this is the step where you really need to go into the computer lab and have your kids do this. Now what I'm going to do is I have another Google account open here and I'm going to show you what a student would do. So right now once you have your folders made and you have your link made um, you're going to you'll then take the kids to the computer lab or just get them to log on to a computer and they're going to create a folder that they are going to share with you and put in uh, your shared document shared with you and we're going to drag it to that turn in folder and I'll show you how that's going to work right now so what I'm going to do is right now I'm going to switch user we're going to assume that FCPS CTE is a, a new user of ours a new kid They've never even used Google accounts. They've just logged in for the first time. And what I'm going to have them do is create a folder. And they're going to call it 2014-2015. And they're going to call it their last name and then their first name and then we can have it called let's say LA 01 Smith and that would be the student's last name and their first name and then LA period 1 Smith and they're going to create that so now they have an owner here they have a folder and what they're going to do is they're going to right click that folder and they're going to share it and they are going to share it with me and they type your email in there this is only a one-time thing and they want to make sure that I can edit it okay and they do not need to notify me going to say OK. Now what happens is you can see now I have editing rights to that. That's all the student needs to do. Now what will happen is they'll say done. That means anytime throughout the year if they have work and let's create a document out here. So let's go back to this student's drive. Let's say they created a document for LA period one quiz and they created that document and they have it here but it's just sitting out here it's not in the folder but if that was for me the teacher they would just simply drag that in there okay now that's the kids account now once I have all the kids create their folders which took about two minutes three minutes to create their folders if they do it right now you're gonna then go back and log into yours so I'm back in here to mine. Now their folder doesn't show up here. It shows up shared with me. And you can see there's their name, 2014-15. And if they put last name, first name with uh, L.A. Smith, these will all be in order. And then you'll be able to sort them. Now what I would do with this is I would drag this folder over and you can select multiple folders at once so if we had a bunch of folders here I could select a bunch but I'm going to drag this folder over into my turn in folder and I'm just going to click it right there and there's the turn in folder so anytime I want it then to view this kid's work all I would have to do is click on it and his quiz is going to be in there and so remember the student made this and anything they drag in their folder I'll be able to see open up edit and comment now 
just as if you wanted to you create you could create folders in here so I might just have my LA period one in here so underneath my turn in folders right now I have my kids but if you want to organize it by your class then you could you could just under this document create a folder and call it LA period one and the kids would be listed that way and you could just drag them in there and then every day when you came in if you wanted to see what a kid came in you would just pick LA period one and your all your kids would be listed in there who was in period one you would only have to do this one time at the beginning of the year and now basically you have a place to put your handouts and to put what they want to turn in now how's a kid going to know the handout all I all I have to do is send him this link right here one time they log on okay and if we go back to the student and if that child was able to just put that link up in there log on and you can see that student is now at your folder okay because now basically you've shared that drive with him now remember he's not going to be able to edit anything in here because this is your this is your folder that you shared your handout folder if they go back to their drive this is where they're going to put all their stuff that they're doing for this class so I'll go back to my drive one last time hopefully you can now see and basically I've just followed along a sheet the, the same sheet that I'll put in here for handouts um, but now you've created two folders one handout one turn in folder um, and one is shared the other one is not shared you notice we didn't share this with anybody we're not going to share it the only thing that's shared the people in here the students are sharing it with you do not share this folder because you don't want other students to see it the only thing a student's going to be able to see is their own folder but you're going to be able to see them all so you have security you have ease and you know you can really have a paperless classroom and I hope that this helps you out with uh, having a more efficient classroom good luck